Well, uh, so I'm sorry if there are a mark second years in, in the first year just kicked ass with the sink and swim project. Last year, I was a little bit like, hmm, maybe, maybe this is just not. So tonight, I'm really uh, excited uh, to welcome Rebecca Rood. I think part of the mission of this present you stars or planners or, you know, uh, people who have been for decades to really support emerging practices and practices that uh, are really make a particular way uh, and a kind of very interesting and personal way. And tonight is such a night um, from such a kind of uh, creative practice and it's a kind of how just you can name like design bitches, right? I mean, so, Let's try to give radical and provocative names such as that one. Uh, for those of you who came as a result of a kind of contest that uh, the Los Angeles uh, AIA put together, is and, uh, and Catherine and Rebecca's answer was architecture is design. So it's stuck. How, how, how not uh, to win? Uh, second is to find a process can kind of think about, and uh, it was the design of an ice cream truck, uh, cool, uh, which is architecture inspired ice cream. Uh, that is a project uh, that is kind of very, very unusual. And third, really, uh, that is at once fresh and playful, conceptual, irreverent, uh, pop, at once uh, pragmatic and punk, uh, that sort of the everyday, but try to reinvent it, to infuse surprise, a uh, nation of super and super graphics, and it's all very yummy and very pleasurable. Uh, the design bitches is not only uh, in really embedded within the scene, but actually involved in constructing it. Uh, they helped articulate uh, what has become to the hipster green juice scene of popular LA culture. Um, but there is popular, quite architectural, and also embedded within the city. Uh, taking exposed and turning it uh, sort of on its side, and more broadly, uh, sort of LA's history, uh, cultural history, such as Ven Venice's Doctor. Um, uh, I think last week we had a um, cruise duo, probably, of, of what you do. Uh, but uh, it's also very interesting collaborations are emerging as a kind of conversation and I'm sure uh, we'll have the sense of an, uh, not uh, a, a kind of construction where one is type A and one other where there's a change between the creative and, and the pr pragmatic and uh, more uh, Angeles. So beware, New York City. Uh, I'm sure we'll we'll see them quite soon. Um, Catherine and and Rebecca are uh, native Californians. Uh, I mark from some University of Oregon, which where she is now um, teaching. And Rebecca received an MA at the University of Paris 8, uh, in Paris. And so please write in uh, uh, Rebecca and Catherine from Design Bitches.
Thank you. Well, we're very, it's have been, I actually sat visiting an old roommate of mine who was attending over 10 years room since then. So it's nice to be back. We really appreciate it. We had a great day today in the rain. It was a super fun start to the day. Yeah. So thanks so much for having us. Great projects and yeah. The, yeah. the first year. Or so yeah. keep that Yeah. Keep that up. <laughs> Oops. I don't know. What did you The apologies, guys. Technical difficulties. There, there we go. Under the influence. We live in a culture under the influence. The influence, the digital, and the creatively imagined. We find ourselves increasingly and burdened of information crossing boundaries of time, every perception of themselves in our memory, and resurface in pattern combinations, expected or news in our creative exploration. Our work moderating the potential and overloading is to ground our work in a deep exploration of those in and cultivate a habitual level, rooted in our daily lives in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is a city known for luring creative dreamers, risk takers, of freedom. The history of experimentation in building is everywhere to the awkward, the horrifying, the ugly. A city perceptive rules, form, and function provide a canvas of infinite oddities, daily tracks with that put limits of reality. It is theater because it is architecture, make believe, and the result is a greater reality. We begin to model this for its subtext. Its meandering lack of rationality is its inhabitant state, albeit subconscious, state of the dream. Level atop this past to the underground urban center of other cities, Los Angeles, Lisley. we negotiate the sprawl through excavation, laid infrastructure, gas stations, and guide inspiration in the patterns cut across the city and bold combination. There's an iconography we find cheap beauty. Taco and stucco for very art. High density but low rise city provides constant vision to the through backdrop the Angeles National Forest and the Pacific. Street sets, strip clubs. Celebrity sightings and farmers market. Amorous and the banal are abrupt, sometimes disturbing. The anticipated stability. The, the power of the sprawl lies in relentlessness, constantly, whether they be literal, perceptual, visual, or ethereal, unencumbered by style, pop cultural significance, low, low brow society, all present equal fodder, rest inspirational potential. By creating new relationships, rhythms and associations between and layers and relevance. Although the parts in this composition are arranged loosely along a Themselves, because it mostly is. It is a consequence of a famous sprawl. By weaving 
and embedding the spaces we create with subtle and overlapping cultural building the base. We use the roots of our LA story is a familiar part upon to expand the story in unimagined ways. Los Angeles is an infinitely inspiring city. Knowledge of influence experienced while drivers. We spend a good portion of our time driving and interpret the city, affected by the threat of our reinforced in this to make sense of our place in the city. The city swim from plaintive request tape to sign poles and fences to billboards advertising construction and film by trying to tell us the story of Los Angeles at all scales. They are at once individuality and low city for buildings we are immersed in a continually changing narrative written in billboards and natural environments. Text and retell stories as varied as the roots we take. A quote by comic artist only described She is beautiful and terrifying at the same time, like nature. We love about the neighborhood of Venice. The wide open sky is the best it unfolds experience. The self is expressive in its fleeting ephemera, often relentlessly uniform to the sky. Since while we are outside, it is integral, though intangible. At once narrative and effacing, creating and deleting identities as quickly as culture. While the billboard, mural, and signage offer for a chance to create narrative next to the street of the building. <coughs> it is for the story we are with the history and context of a place. And like canvas, and also a window into the recent or distant past. Through the layering of context, Background, threshold, window, and a new specific merge. Graphic skills and create real dimensions. Taking advantage of physical changes that, that occur throughout the day, illustrations on the overs lets the mind fill in the gaps. The visitor is thus implicit in the creation of the space. Hand-painted artwork personalizes a building through decoration which may be authentic or aspirational. It serves as an additional layer to dream more fun. California has a history of combining things to create a side of time and place. A Spanish bungalow wrapped in luxury European brand mark house and a glamorization of ancient Mayan massing combined with local block construction create an imagination of organic modernism. A mass-produced object and the mechanical reproduction of custom artwork, both commercial and final pop. Wallpaper by the artist Jeff McFetridge adds the art to the industry ordinary creation of the machine handmade. A light bulb. Neon evokes the historically seedy and the implied unknown. It is a light behind it are seldom recognized, and the imagery takes precedence over the artist's 
slightly overscaled sign prioritizes the symbol over it adds a garish becoming a directional identifier through light. A shock of streetscape blurred boundary between the commercial space and the street. In this work by Peter Coffin, subtle bends of 2D verticality and slight through spatial positioning and light. We extract external city references and materials from an association in the interior, switching their orientation or use. Two dimensional global planes in three dimensions. We create perceptual moments of implied connection. Geometries combine to create something new from differing vantage points. Material can be used hand painted tiles used as an exterior entry cladding. Geometries is a base through which various building materials and application and repetition. Culturally influenced color palette the neighborhood itself, unstylish past. Then remixed and reconceptualized, they are given. Color is used to psychologically intensify programmatic activity. Inserting a band of sunlit area can connect the most active interior and higher through a choreography of shapes, movement, and color. Directly color surrounded. This intensity is surrounded by the complete removal. Grayed out offer places to take pause and retreat from the interaction. of two-dimensional graphics and three-dimensional space, we embed an element of surprise In an ocean mural made of enlarged CMY dots, static a viewed from varying distances. Subtly in our work that triggers memories while supplying a level of comfort and familiar spatial organism. A delicate corner meeting of four surfaces can imply the joining of multiple patterns, but at the ground level, start to reveal some of the mind layers of the city and understand it and materiality. So understanding of affect our interpretation of its identity. Masters, we rift on our own identities, posing as other famous architects. We unearth another layer of intriguing perceptual play. The concrete is the original understanding of the material has been undermined and destroyed when the to the viewer. We create a mass of meaning through a lightness of expression. What is the definition? Mass can be literal. I've done it in histories. Looking at the weight of history, we question the value of we sometimes disappear, become irrelevant, even grown over. Los Angeles was so the phone. <laughs> we search deeper into our understanding of materiality, understand, and it might happen if our perceptions are suddenly turned upside down. Rapid set bags framed as art. The concrete is replaced by a physically replaced with something like. Building material is suddenly transformed into something within the nature of the material itself. Bench, softness to a 
hard, massive feature. Toying with preconceived notions of a real fakeness, prevalent in some iconic Los Angeles landmark. Reality, this barrier, does that undermine its sense of mass and visual weight? Plasticity of concrete, together with visual lightness and historic nostalgia, to create a theme building an image of the future currently in limbo, play on reality. It of steel clad in stucco to look like incredibly thin ribs of concrete. This notion manipulate our impressions of a material and what its possibilities are. Installation titled Heavy at the Santa Barbara Museum of Contemporary Art made of vapor concrete fall into the earth. Stuffed bags of the material that made them carelessly. Painter's tape creates striped rain flattened onto the wall and tactile actual rain. Mirror at the corner deletes edges and boundaries, cloud reflection and march into infinity. There is delightfully real about what is phony here. Reflection can be used to multiply or to make disappear. The overhead use of space lightens mass where it is undesirable. Anything with commonly tweak the familiar. Everyone has an innate reaction to concrete and mirror experience. To these applications, we explore the possibilities of the material and the affect created through the everyday. Reflection and transparency combine with this ever changing immaterial. The power of mirror and glass used together is a reflection to see what isn't. When reflection shifts below the position of mass underfoot, at an odd height, disembodied feet can be seen walking in Andy Warhol's silver clouds come back of mile and dynamic movements that reflected the surroundings. When used on form within space, tension and torque disappear. The lightness and movement makes you want to approach and touch with the forms. Of brevity with language. We have inherited this invitation for the audience to participate in it with a requirement. Questions float in light. Lightness of expression. <coughs> Surfaces are weightlessness that implies emotion and is never static. Create illustrations ourselves to focus in on movement on a more intimate scale. And often with artists on this custom wallpaper for a barcade. The forms and symbols with the reading of movement to the function and programs in the space. Surface is given a voice through illustration and adds a layer of an unexpected entry into a larger space. One so detailed, it contains the to to revisit. Large, larger sculptural volumes are within a space. Experimentation with subtle angles in relation to the rectilinear original pathway. This photograph of a Paul Smith door taken from a mistake, opportunity. It left us thinking what happens when you press your thumb into the corner 
distortion and manipulation of pure geometric form with a lack of preciousness. Shapes, interesting conversations are created within the building, informed by human meetings, unique encouraged interaction, exchanged, and shared experience. In an additive interior space, form is used to create the differential zones, types of social interaction within an existing building envelope. Enabling a program enables it and experience the space differently each time. On the shaping live and around the house that adapt to contemporary domestic life and adapt comfortable spaces for a breadth of activity now rooted in the home. Positions, family life, solitude to small and large gatherings. All of care is paid to the life that will take place within. Between, we create what we habitually return to. We had small moments of individuality, creating through the, the urban fabric. We use visual formal connection between multiple buildings, or, or we subtract areas of the river to create a pulse of the life on the street. There are parallels drawn between indoor and domestic space in front, bringing life to the zone in between. We take advantage of creating more of it when it doesn't exist, and opening and expanding it when it enabling curiosity between the observer and the observed, activating the pedestrian in the city. The Pompidou illustrates one of our favorites. The structure forces the user to circulate outside the building, reconnects the surrounding city, it activates the threshold between building and environment through the movement of pure of visual. We look for ways to build activation in the absence of an orthographic pattern creating movement and rhythm at the street level. The LA norm within the city grid is the crux between a heavily commuted thoroughfare and central neighborhood. On these sites, we create a sense of place at the transition between the two. Pedestrian scale, an interaction, and a place to pause. A welcoming crucial to their as porous filters for the neighborhood, places which serve throughout the day. Indoor and outdoor fluid grounding energy down into a palatable, comfortable place. A fractal extension of a relaxed sandwich between the arts district and the LA River. A non-hierarchical layout of a from standard already in use on the site transforms the mundane into an earth. The flexible and non-dogmatic social space allows for life to form, feeling very different depending on who is there and the energy that is spontaneity. of a site and where it sits within the layers of the city. Celebrated moments embedded as do the ghosts of prior generations. Neighborhood haunt characters help the story to evolve and give it trajectory. Cafe and more than a place to drink. There are points of connection within the community Community, presence and the place glue individuals with disparate lives together in a uniquely important way. 
How do you embed the referential into a place? With a sense of overlap and space in odd and unlikely ways, down to the smallest details, geometry and the periphery, embed clues and histories. High ponchos from Venice Beach, artist wallpaper, vintage French and camping lashed together in a space situated in a neighborhood in transition. A local history of skating in pools and gathering around the edge hold tight to the character of a blur decade. Ripe with memory and reference, pool tiles with your friends from it's the edge of a pool, a casual meeting place to watch and be a part of something at the We embrace common building materials and shapes that are around a table, campfire, along a street edge. Combining these deeply embedded banality and everyday mundane with an active connection between the interior life of the space and that offers a place to connect. More text, calling out the name of a slow fast food joint. Final complicated fibrigals deeply buried in our psyche. Tweaking the ordinary in the ways allows us between these memories and the social situations of contemporary life. Gingham as a cultural reference can mean many things. Cindy Sherrafts herself is various characters that have wildly different cultural significance. She chooses to be her work, the props, clothing, makeup, styling, and production technique to alter her object. They are clues to reading her work. These signifiers change the meaning of the individual parts with her all subject. In our work, we dig through the layers of influence to create a distinctly local identity and shifts to specific condition. It's an intentional construct meant to make architecture more exciting of the familiar, the beautifully ugly, and the spontaneously mundane. The combination is greater than the meaning of the individual parts. It feeds all and back into enabling architecture to include all forms of cultural creation. Architecture of a wider influence and we strive to make it a bold and irreverently stimulating part of daily life. That is it. Thank you. Now we're looking forward to the response. <laughs> Like eight. Yeah. Okay, my mic Wake is up. broken. <laughs> Hi. I'm uh, going to be very quick and I hope sharp uh, to a certain degree because uh, you're super eager to have an incredible conversation following uh, our uh, review today. So, this is a, it's a, at the same time an inauguration of uh, many things to come. What I mean by inauguration is what I focus on uh, in our, in our um, um, quick response here and, and, and q and which is uh, the notion of how you uh, start the one or the other, right? Try to be nice, trying to figure out how you made it uh, <laughs> um, um, 
as far as you did, and uh, and 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 uh, um, um, bringing it to the west coast, also as Dean on drop meaning. Of notes, I do and, and uh, help us to contextualize uh, what we saw. Um, one of the taken by, which is the uh, not necessarily divide, but but combine, um, and to be a bit more not just name design. Comma bitches, which at a certain point was uh, abandoned, uh, framed the talk uh, um, um, in a way went from comparisons to in architecture, uh, in architecture, the one way or the other. Layering context threshold, existing facades versus 2D to operations, structure this pairs of images separated by commas, as one way or other. Find your professional identity. Commas help uh, and helps architecture include all creative. Um, I I'm very interested in in uh, also the year you met. Uh, uh, probably all of us uh, remember the one way or other. This was uh, at the height of the recession, I believe, for uh, Barbara Bester, which uh, uh, was the way I kind of. Uh, became your practice. I see we're not working. Um, in fact, it was a lack of work uh, in, in Bester's office but, uh, in the AA competition, right? So as the fairy tale goes, uh, you found each other. It was a series of uh, projects that uh, you have to uh, had worked into your portfolio. More projects than not were made up right uh, um, kind of would say you know what what uh, what and if there was any kind of uh, also to to one of the great things that that uh, we have here at, at Columbia with our in place at about um, 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 grads or alums uh, um, can work for a year or so um, this time also in the part from Sayak um, which I guess was we spoke about this earlier. Roto was Dondi, um, the array, right? Like downtown. Yeah, I was the last. You class were the last. There. Neil was the director that nice. I was there. So. I, 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 I guess I want to frame it around the question why Los Angeles? And, and it was very talk about like Los Angeles and the kind of like. Uh, um, um, fascination with uh, also space effects that on uh, LA as a place is something that that one can see very low. We are in constant conversation about like local versus global. Um, also here at Columbia, or how place when you read, um, um, you have a philosophy background. You both came from a relatively like city. Uh, um, I believe. At the same time, uh, there was Sinyak, there was belief, right? Like, what, what does Los Angeles mean, or why LA? Other than the free city brings. I've never been at the West Coast, like, nobody cares about architecture in LA. You know, you're either in film, if you don't do theater, uh, if you're not part of theater, you, you do some kind of, like, music. Very different than or what we deal with outside of, 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 of the United States edge, right? Like you sit at your dentist with awkward in your mouth and of New York dentists tell you that they in fact wanted to be uh, architects while they <laughs> It's interesting later, I guess, as an architect in, in LA. Um, is this something that's important to you in your practice? You know, we, I mean, Honestly, it was the organic or it's there. And there's a lot of work. I mean, there's a lot of work there, sure. and there, there is this freedom, which makes it interesting. And there, so there's sort of a pool of clients that are, um, you know, we were there. That's where we met, and we so are kind of like fascination with and inspiration love of it from 
grown over time. Sure. And it's also something that as we work more to what we do, it's sort of like been a process of discovery that we've realized that this place is a new. Um, and we're trying to figure out why, and that's you know part of what the lecture was. It's I, you know not to be underestimated because like a lot of a lot of like us here in the room, a lot of you like Colombia because geographic um, um, significance that New York brings to the table. It's something that's not your background, like west edge of the country. And, and the LA. Um, I would lift gears a little bit to, I saw recently this film by uh, um, uh, Pollock, uh, Architecture. Um, and uh, he's a film director, as you know, and he speaks about uh, 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 um, pretending to be a film director. Uh, do you ever pretend, or do you ever be an architect? Mm. You know, we might have a different answer to this. We talk about this because I didn't come into architecture like in high school, what I wanted to do. Um, I had no intention of becoming go to the SciArc, exciting school, yeah. and there were so many different. The reason that I ended up there was there's so many doing. So you could. You could learn how to design buildings. There was a lot of like freedom in the ability to learn how to design and make things, but not necessarily constricted to. And then that actually, I really did love it and really did want to be and became one. It, I think it's like coming full circle in a way because. We are architects, and such and like we really don't want to be limited by this definition of. I think, I think if if you have this idea that it can encompass more, then maybe a don't need to pretend whatever it is that you're doing fits within it. Yeah. Well, I think it's also. I mean, in our I was at Sierra slightly. Later date than Rebecca, so I was, yeah. at, I was at the Transco Moss class in the new building, nice. and downtown. And I think that that like and be inspired by so many other creative disciplines, yeah. especially in a pedagogical. We more, more of that out in the work world. You know why? Why does it like? Why can we not in those disciplines? Incorporate that into our work professionally, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. kind of start to straddle those things. I mean, you do sure. lay out as school, and, and so we wanted to kind of weave that into our professional work in school. Started together, a yeah. lot of it was kind of trying to find this voice that the depths of just get by recession. Like, how do we? take our work, maybe not to take our mm -hmm. all the time. Like, mm -hmm. can you yeah, yeah. be, like, embed that sense of, like, do it in the first place. Find more new ways to express it. I, I, I love, I, extremely interesting answer. Uh, business says, uh, don't call me, I call you. <laughs> uh, which, uh, I all, um, important, and also alluding to uh, an event we have here at, at uh, uh, Columbia Friday about um, the, the question of like um, how important is a client in architecture? In other words, like you know, I think of every other, you don't necessarily need a client in order to do architecture. But where is the where is the in, in relationship between um, architecture and project, if you wish so, whatever to it to them. Architectural design, branding, or like building packs and laws, but like their clients felt also self initiated the one way or other, um, which to see because in the if this is 
fair to say, in the restaurant business than, than like uh, chess, right? We have an extremely interesting also trajectory. I, you have heard um, a couple of um, um, way uh, we dissected, like how do you start the practice, right? Like in the United States, uh, I said that a couple of times about, you know, you do a house, right? Like uh, there is, uh, for years a young participate in a competition, you uh, um, do social housing, you know, that's your first project. Did this, it wasn't a protocol house, it was a series of restaurants, and in fact, like, it was a series of restaurants. We think and look at uh, a different kind of trajectory, which is like um, Tom Main, um, Kate Cup, uh, Mantellini, mm -hmm. uh, right, in Beverly Hills uh, restaurant. Then uh, Fish by Euler Wu's 3DS um, 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 lab. Um, 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 Tom, we all working. It's like, um, like, how did this happen? Right? Restaurants. <laughs> I mean, we just came through, uh, you know, clients were important because actually one of our, we had, nice. and we were fortunate enough to get involved when they were developing brand locations. It included all of the graphics and branding all in one time. And when we thought, well, that could be interesting and fun to look at all of these things together. But one thing I think we've learned from, you know, rest place they play in our lives yeah. and this social component, you know, it's a more public space. Like we're sure. often friends who have smaller practices and you can build the really beautiful house house yeah. but is limited in yeah. terms of how many people actually get to experience it yeah. or go or depending on and our sort of embracing this project that was coming together in multiple yeah. Within a neighborhood that we found interesting to like dig up stuff on as well, and it allowed that space over and over. And I think that as a small young practice, it propel our practice nice. through the exchange of like also public versus private, private versus public clients. I mean, because we that they, they just ask us to do a lot of things that mm -hmm. we would necessarily and collaboration and what comes out is not you know necessarily what we would expect from our own than the yeah, things yeah. that we do for ourselves so mm -hmm. so or Cassie, are you um like speaking about branding for a second is this something come up with as a restaurant and you uh say hey you also need a to go box, yep. you could, like we can do I mean, really, nice. the first uh, we just said, Yeah, well, you know, we can do that too. Nice. We didn't know how to do it, well, that's, that's <laughs> but we just about the just, end or architect. I kind of feel like when you're trying to expand something mm -hmm. or learn something new a little bit, yeah, like yeah. you have the capacity to take it on, mm -hmm. but, but you have it hasn't been road tested mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. So, anytime. So sure. And the first actually graphic design thing we did was a brand book for Cool House, and that so it was also like brand development oh. for them and yeah, helping yeah. them figure out like what company. Yeah. And yeah, you know, we just heard them talking about needing it and said, "Hey, we'll do it." Is the um, speaking about um doing it and 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 you don't left and right brain activities and like one person talks and another person like draws active and vivid exchange i happen to know you you are in santa monica or santa um, um Mar Vista. I'm when is it I and i was knocking at your door <laughs> in at the water gate um, um which is silver lake after all the hipsters left, you guys left first. Uh, Atwater <laughs> is just like across uh, the hill. Uh, I got so excited when 
and I heard you guys are coming, so I was like, let me do a pre-interview in LA. <laughs> I rerouted up the address where this is. I ended up at your house, which was incredible work altogether. So I, those of us who have been on, on the West Coast, we know that there is distance, right? Like, uh, there's, uh, did, do, you, do you meet in the office every day? Like, what do you, like, wh what do you operate on? I do happen to them, uh, which uh, I'm going to share very quickly. Design bitches intersects architecture, culture, and page. Toast always lands butter side up. Design bitches is design space again and again and again. Bring fashion focus and badass design. Like, what is what is the business? What? Ooh, good question. Well. We have an office. My office was in my the in first car. five years, and in the yeah, and well, the, in, in, in Kathy's in house and the cars <laughs> around. All of our everything's in the cloud, yeah. So we yeah. were kind of just work from where, just go where the clients are, basically. Um, it actually helped. We're on different sides of, with this branching out and being able, able to do job city yeah. maybe. Um, now we have an office that's closer to my um, just of real estate in Los sure. Angeles sure. and so I'm there every day and Kathy yeah I'm mm -hmm. there so I think I was having a conversation with some of your first year students earlier when they were asking kind of you know our practice I, I've always described it as we were sort of a lean startup, like a, a lot of a startup are low yeah, yeah. and small, purpose in like world setting yeah. around anyway, and, and it kind of enabled us to chart the course sure. and choose about which things we wanted to do when you know without yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, which is context of Los Angeles yet again, right? Like it is a more difficult thing to, to do uh, um, in places for, for a crack of dollars. Uh, and you can barely turn around without hitting yourself twice. So that, I mean, it's interesting. In but we did have the luxury of like that we had had this office mm -hmm. that we built that was there yeah. and we had outdoor 300 square feet. Yeah. Well, actually 150, 150 square feet. 150 square feet. There were four. <laughs> New York. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do it in your apartment. I, yeah. we, will, we will certainly replicate. One last open up to this, this discussion is influenced by, I was sitting with a, a, a group of, of uh, group, uh, I was talking about scale, um, scale fluidity, the one way or the other. So if we you define your problem, I, it's fair to say that you find like uh, four scales, right? Small, small, which uh, um, compares closely to um, um, well-known XML, uh, XL. So I guess I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like, is the X missing? What's the take on in regards to bigness? In other words, like, is there an XL to come and you see your practice? I would say yes. I think as a slow evolution, you know, not. Can I trail you a bit more on this? Like yeah. how, like you don't do really, right? How do you imagine that transition? It's a good question. One project now, but we have one like big city block, yeah. new building actually that's going to be under and the way things have gone it's just sort of gradually gotten bigger but presumably decide that there are th things we will need to you know go after them in some way and really change our so Rebecca when you when you export your um LF, like content um 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 that slightly smells like Comme des Garçons to what, what stand in terms of scale? 
speaking about your like uh, collaboration um, um, in, in it's in the house actually yeah. and uh, you know a, a single family like a, a beach bungalow it's like didn't matter was kind of yeah or what, or wasn't not, wasn't just similar skip. I'm going to I'm going to shut up now. Uh, thank you very much for just like like session and 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 and, and kind of crystallizing a couple of things important for us too. But anyway, what uh, what uh, are the questions? The audience and I'm sure there are plenty. There's a yeah. question. The mic, okay. So in this question of uh, conveying between scales of small, large, actual language uh, convey or, or pass through these different scales, and how do you process or be translated through these different scales? Sorry if that's. I'm process. Do you want to start? In some ways, we use the same process, which is this kind of judging. Mix of sight, um, intent, client or our intent, and then inspiration or that. So, in the sense that for something very, very small scale, sight might be small, we can still like apply that process, I guess. Like, I think the temporality starts to shrink. And I think, ultimately, we're always pulling a spectrum. People, I, mean, I often call us observers, and we're just, like, soaking up all this stuff. And we, when we will talk to each other about weird things that we saw that we thought were inspiring, and that is, I thought, all scales of our work. Depending on the scale, how we shift it, as we grow working more in the larger scales, it'll be interesting to see, like, if they are related to translation. Is it, you know, one to one? Is it one to five? Do we scale certain things up? Do we translate, simplify it down to one particular piece? I mean, for a lot of the XS things that we did, much. They're still layered and informed by many different things, but in a much more more spontaneous. That's true. Yeah, a bit more spontaneous. Um, I'm I'm kind of curious about your uh, your 3D spaces and and how you kind of um, turn the corner from. Uh, uh, 3D. Like, are there certain parameters you you think to think of when you're deciding this needs a two dimensional opposed to a, a wholly three dimensional approach? Actually, discuss. We we're talking about rules. We we're talking about other like, like do we have we abide by? We kind of said we didn't. I think that we. I think we do have the space. It's, I don't know. I don't know if I would say that we would immediately pick. It kind of work process that we go through and this kind of mm -hmm. sharing and then things. Because I think that the 2D, 3D play that we like to do um, certain things in a way in an often unexpected moment of the space, upon first see that moment. Sometimes I think it comes out of the process rather than from the get-go. Yeah, it's also specific. 
specific to the site and the client. Some, not all components of them, although most of them do, but it um, to do with what it's developing, if you know, some kind of added dimension or if there's a, a play, perceptual play that we think is important, then that. So you spoke a little bit about researching this text when you're designing uh, for for the brand and for the site um, approach to the greater context and community around that site. Um, how how you design decision processes for for how you want to reference that design and what, what you're really trying to show through that. We we research like, like actually both we often we start with sometimes also text imagery text maybe film some and neighborhoods not as they are today but as they might be a hundred years ago kind of figure out because I think it's important to us to kind of numbered or time. And we were talking a little bit earlier too about living view and dogs are sort of filled, right, with this. We all know, we're all very with what is the moment. I think it's more intriguing to us to kind of go back to things that may be to kind of insert that history in the projects themselves, but also start to weave this, this thick earth in our, our work. So it isn't, it, it is of now, but it's also hanging at some full mm -hmm. Also just looking, I feel like a lot of the times when we look at site, there is always interesting there. It may be currently very banal, but like, and the more we find out the little factoids or something about that neighborhood before that is far more interesting than the last 10 years. Affect the project in a very, very small way or in a large way. But I think it's really fun. And, and I would say, and it might be a result, someone of the definitely tend to um, find things of kind of cultural, historic, in, in those in a lot, I'm sure, um, you know, give it a certain or, or have a way. I mean, we are biased by what we're interested in, for sure. It's not such a straightforward digging that we do. We dig and then we find the things that are the things that we think bring those to the. And a lot of times they have to do with, with people or characters or you know artists or necessarily architecturally historic um, yeah. cultural thing. It's really it's just specific to the play. One last question. That's your process. Uh, is based more on the experience of the space and the site you generate and shape. I was wondering if you start by shaping these behaviors uh, for this site on the envelope, or is it specific to the site? Because most of the examples that you mainly focus on the inside is occupied and is shaping mm -hmm. the architecture. But how do you think it from the interior and the exterior? And how do you, how does the process link to that? But at the same time, we, more of the projects that have been completed there 
our interior project may be somewhat um, why the focus seems to be interior. Definitely the connection between the inside and the outside is really important. And so that, that beginning, but it, it is true in some ways that we haven't been like extremely the aesthetics and form of the outside of the buildings. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, because we, we really, I think we're constantly, when we have the opportunity to weave interior and exterior space together, we, we will. And we we really know how people are occupying or ha the habitation of the space. And to it isn't a goal to create a place that people go to one time and say, wow, I never have to go back. Our work to date has been more rooted in creating interesting places to spend the different places. So on the exterior of the building, we try to, you know, kind of carving for people to kind of push. Mm -hmm. We like to have lots of different ways for people to re-engage self or within the building. And when you sit in a different place, you have a totally different time to the next. Think about it in exterior and an interior way. And as our work more, it's going to shift and develop along with it. But it's also interesting because you define whatever is referred to interior is, 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 has a very different approach in practice. Um, um, so not just in other places in the U.S., but also in New York, because like it, it's, it's the question of exterior. It's it, it's materially a way thinner one than it is um, um, just pure climate. Um, mm -hmm. if you so right. So most of your places, and I I I, I almost point in in your like they show your project. It's completely open. They in fact like and. They, Excellent. Um, it underlines almost diminish it, right? Like you dissolve exterior in a mm -hmm. way. So that's what that's when the two D comes in, right? Like a question about like general design was in. I, I do believe there is a two and a half dimension that you work mm -hmm. with, where it's clear, right? Flatness or is the spatiality of something that's also um, um, a boundary or setting else that, that mm -hmm. to the content of it, right? Like, like the kind of the, the graph, like a bread on like they all are like, or or knowing anything about program or content you understand the setup right um while being at the outside still and then once you at the end you look at actually outside. Um thank you very much uh for you guys being an incredible powering through uh, and we'll see each other on Wednesday it's only the beginning